Hey guys, I wanted to uh, t show you how to achieve a successful um, 4.5 gigahertz overclock on the. One second, let me show you that it's 4.5. 4.5. I'm going to show you how to get a 4.5 gigahertz, stable 4.5 gigahertz on the AMD FX 8320. Okay. This and this will also be on the board. This is just like my old last video, but here we go. That, that is my board. So, yeah. Let me uh, start. Hold down delete. Okay. Push seven. And again, this is on the uh, AMD FX eighty three twenty. And, um, and I'm blue. Sorry, bad memory. Um, and it is on this board. So, okay. These are also my settings. They want this. This is a disclaimer. These are my settings. It may not work for you. Okay. I'm just gonna go through my settings and what I did. Okay. You can see it says 4.5 gigahertz. Okay, the first thing I would do is go into here and always keep this on. Why? Because it'll let the CPU ramp down and run itself cold, and also whenever it's running at lower speeds, it will um, stay stable more, and it will extend the life of your CPU because it's not having to overheat. It's not having to uh, ramp its temperatures up, uh, frequency up in which will raise the temperatures up. And now disable and enable everything in here. So, yeah. Okay, now I'll go into AI Tweaker. Click push this to manual. Put that to 22.5. So you can see, put that to turn off the turbo because all that will do is, um, all the turbo crap will do is it will it'll just make your performance terrible so um, keep this at 200 keep that at auto and then whatever your ram speed is mine is a uh, 1333 and uh, 1600 I can't push the 1333 I can't push the ram that's actually that its max clock is 1333 I can't overclock it to 1600 so I'm having to run everything at 1333 which is not too bad, it's still really good. At auto, like if I just put everything to auto, it would put my RAM down to 1066, which is miserable. So, yeah. And then 800 would be even worse, so. 1333. And now, uh, this is for this board, so, yeah. I have never been able to get this thing, the uh, PC, the CPU slash Northbridge frequency, higher anything higher than 2.2. So I would always stay at 2.2. The HT link speed, the highest I've gotten it was 2.4, which is the highest that it'll go. Turn off the PCI and uh, CPU speed spec spectrum. Disable those. Uh, turn off the EPU power saving mode. Go into your DRAM, these are mine of course, and set your DRAMs to this. I have gone down, put I have put this down to 16, but everything became really unstable. Like web pages were crashing because they were being the, the RAM management was terrible, so those are my RAM settings. Um uh, turn and then right here you have a CPU command. CPU load line calibration and uh, CPU slash Northbridge load line calibration. Keep those enabled because it'll help the voltage go up 
whatever your max voltage at your straight. See, see, like right here. See how I have that like um, 1.368. It goes. It'll be with it enabled. It'll help it go higher than what you have it rated to, and that'll just help with stability. And now I want you to go to uh, your uh, offset. Put both to minus, to both to negative, and then put this one to uh, to that. Uh, zero point zero point zero three one two five zero and then put this at a uh, um zero point zero twenty five zero 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 which yeah, I'm under you're under volting stuff but that will be good because it'll help you with uh temperatures. So and then just put everything keep let everything else run at auto and then you should have a fully stable 4.5 gigahertz overclock and just a w just a warning if you're doing stuff that like uh, if you're watching twitch I recommend putting your system going to Windows control panel and, put, and go into the power options putting it in power saving mode because for some reason twitch and there's other websites that will do this too and if you overload the system like you're doing so many so many things that are CPU intensive it will crash that is just something with this board it does not like to so yeah and with twitch it twitch is just a super resource heavy bullshit piece of garbage where it likes to just rape your system of all your resources so yeah that is so yeah when doing stuff like that put it into power saving mode and uh... you'll be safe but otherwise uh... keep it on balanced and you'll be good. Never put on performance because for some reason with this board doesn't like to be maxed out at the top frequency all the time so I don't know if it's just because the voltages are low or what but it just does not like to. Sometimes it'll crash, sometimes it'll just do black screen crash or even blue screen. But other than that I've been running this overclock for a week without any issues besides those that I told you about having to put put it into a power saving mode and and overloading the CPU overloading CPU CPU if I keep it in balance or whatever so just and then yeah but uh hope you enjoy the overclock in this video please comment down below if you have any issues or any questions so and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you want more of these type of videos and uh, subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed it so yeah thanks for watching.